You can do it! Hello all you wonderful people! It is a wet and rainy day today. But this gives me a chance to explore a little bit of wet Tokyo for a little while and see something giant and huge. This is the Tokyo Dome, a famous stadium that also features a theme park right next to it. Looks like the Ferris wheel is still working, but the roller coaster is definitely off, probably because of safety and it's raining really hard. But the interesting thing about this roller coaster is that it actually goes through a building. Also, the roller, the roller coaster goes through that building and also through the center of this Ferris wheel. It doesn't have any spokes, so it's all guided on the a outside the axis of that Ferris wheel. Yeah, that looks awesome. And they do have a baseball hall of fame and museum here at the stadium as well. I'm just not that big of a fan of baseball, but one day I do want to see one of the most popular sports in Japan, which came from an American teaching it to Japanese students because he was bored. I was trying to figure out what was going on here and I, I just couldn't figure it out. But now I realize they're all waiting to buy tickets for a baseball game. They've, they've hauled their place in line. This literally means I'm here. Don't go in front of me. That is a long line. They have a haunted house here, and if you press this button when someone is in the haunted house, you can actually trigger an effect to scare the crap out of someone. Six dollars seems like a little lot for this haunted house though. I don't think I really want to do it, especially after paying $6 to see one of the best haunted houses I've ever did in my life. Seriously, that Resident Evil experience was amazing. It might have just been because it was me and that other guy. I think if I was going to spend money for anything, it'd be for this roller coaster. It's not exactly Las Vegas, but this is a water show right here. Oh, hey, this looks like a good bar. Well, it turned out it was a dark ride, not a, not a bar at all. Oh, that's a great name. The Thunder Dolphin. Go back over the falls. That's cool. There's a turning mechanism for the water ride, the flume ride here. That literally you can walk next to if you were so daring. Tokyo Dome City seems pretty awesome, but it's cold and I'm wet. So I'm gonna go find some place to Get warm! For some reason I decided to come down to the Tokyo Station. The first day I was in Japan, I actually had to come here and I had to find the Shingansen. Had no idea how to get to where it was. It seemed loud and very confusing. Tokyo Station itself has that same renovation feel when they redid the city to make it look more Victorian. Truly, it looks a little out of place with all the high-tech buildings surrounding it, but it's part of the history of the city, right? And it does look like something you'd find in Europe, not Japan. I believe the Imperial Palace is right down that way, but unfortunately, to go see it, you have to reserve, and uh, I didn't do that, and also, it's raining like crazy. So maybe we'll find something more indoors, huh? <laughs> I just got off the subway, and this is the exit that I'm supposed to take to find Tokyo Tower. Now, I'm in a city with really tall buildings, so it's actually very hard to find the tower. Doesn't hurt that it's raining cats and dogs out here too. Which by the way, try to use an idiom to someone that doesn't speak English fluently, and you'll get a very confused face. Oh, thankfully there's a sign to point me in the right direction. I saw the sign. It's raining really hard. I saw the sign. And shrouded in the wheat. Enshrouded in the mist, as you turn a corner, you see it, suddenly, there it is, the Tokyo Tower, the most amazing tower in all the world. At least the reddest tower in all the world. This is like a French or a Hertzog accent. 
the tower inspires the people of Japan. When the war was lost, they made this tower to say we are Japan, we are a country. This is a symbol of Tokyo. Unfortunately, the nihilist in me sees nothing but steels and girders. One could enjoy a ride all the way to the top, but it is closed for renovation currently. But you can enjoy what's on the bottom. Much like life, it disappears into the clouds and then reappears randomly. The gods who remain at the top do not allow us to see what construction they are doing up there, but I assure you, it is not good. <laughs> Okay, Warner Herzog is going to... No, no, I want to talk more. It's me, Warner Herzog, the depressed world. I, I cannot stand it. I really wish I could explore this park right next to Tokyo Tower, but everything is so... My shoes are completely soaked. So it looks like the only place I can go is inside the building underneath the Tokyo Tower. <laughs> Why does that one have a bandage on his head? Also, they have a huge one piece attraction here called the One Piece Tower. Yeah. Go, go, go. Now, if you guys know one of the regulars who's on my videos, Toko, this is his favorite character. No ifs, ands, or buts. Sanji is his favorite character. Also, he likes to eat. I am now a proud owner of a ticket into the world of One Piece. For the entrance, they do not want us filming. Like you just walk out of that little show, then you're like introduce all these characters instantly. I don't know who this girl is, but she's got good assets. See, I understand this guy really well. If I go like this, we both match. I can cosplay as this guy. Not to even put on any makeup, I just put on a hat. Well, if I cosplay as Usopp, Toko would have to cosplay as this guy. Most definitely. Fakes it up against Pirate Hunter Zoro with his three swords. Well, that's the craziest gacha gacha man I've ever seen. Tony. Oh, they got a haunted house here? Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to go to a haunted house and put this in a zombie's mouth, but they don't want me filming, so I'll tell you how it works. I have to say, that was pretty cute. You, know, you just walked in there and you, you had a little ball and you just walked around as animatronics came alive and were like, blah, trying to scare you. And, eventually drop the ball into his mouth. That's it. I have a feeling this is going to be what like Dragon Quest the Rio's like. Yep. You get a sword, you slice stuff. It's like a Wii game. I like that a lot of this is in English. So who is this made for? <laughs> Going through a museum. Of a cartoon. Oh, 
Okay, let's... Oh boy, my favorite. A mirror maid. I think that's a mirror. Uh... Okay, we're going good. Okay, that's a mirror. The only thing that would make this maze better would be David Bowie. Say, you never get out, you never get out of the maze. Oh, there's another mirror maze. You'll never get out of the maze. You'll never get out, never get out, never get out of the maze. Getting better at this. There we go. Ha ha! I wish that Toko was here because he'd be able to explain what's going on right now. After living in Osaka for so long, I'm really surprised to see everything in English. Tim Curry? Is that you? This is a really obscure reference that I don't understand. This too. This is an obscure one that I don't get as well. Something. Okay. I'm not quite sure what this is, but I think I have to do a search and they give me a giant snail. So now I'm walking around with this snail trying to find things on the wall looking for for objects on the wall to scan. They're a little hard to find, but they're here. Bitty, 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 bitty. Good. Yeah. I do like how you literally have to find, like walk around and try to find different things. It's cool. Yeah, I'm giving up. I don't know what I'm still looking for now. <laughs> a shot, huh? Whatever it is, it should be fun. Apparently I'm going into an aquarium bar. Listen, I don't know what that is, but it's making a funny look at me. <laughs> it's weird. I'm taking a tour of the ship. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, let's see what you got. That's what it sounds like someone on the toilet. Oh, for the kids, you know. <laughs> so this is the shower right over here, and there's a glory hole right here that you can look into. Let's see what we're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> that skeleton guy blocks out his hair or his pubes, I'm not too sure. I'm not a big One Piece fan, but this was a pretty cool place to check out. It's a lot of fun. Kitschy, but fun. Huh. So it's time to say adios to the One Piece Tower in Tokyo Tower. 
I will definitely say this is a must do if you're a fan, but if you're a so-so fan, it's still pretty cool for 20 bucks. It's not a bad price. You get a lot, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of things to experience, and it's all included on your pass. I, I thought it was an upcharge. Everything was an upcharge, so I was surprised. Go here, I'm Time to go back out in this rain. Sayonara, Tokyo Tower. I was inside of you, but not on top of you. I've got to find a better way to word that. This is my last full day in the city of Tokyo. Tomorrow I'm heading outside of Tokyo, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be fun. I'm going someplace I have never been before, but it's very familiar to me. In fact, as the wind blows and Bill Paxton's presence is remembered just a little bit, I could say that I used to work at a similar place, an almost exact similar place in the States. I think you guys can figure it out from there. You can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy. I'm getting wet. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.